y'all. How you doing, everybody? I hope you guys are doing good. We're doing all right. We're super excited for another edition of Max Tracks Facebook Live. Thank you for watching this. Wherever in the world you are, I salute you, my brother. Hope you're staying safe with all the madness that's going on in the world. And uh, let's jump into some fucking metal. Hell yeah. Today is one of my, I think I say that every week, is one of my favorite songs. Uh, this definitely is one of my favorite songs. Fucking Arise, man. I love it. It's like that 20 year old Max Cavalera pissed off of the world in his bedroom in Brazil writing fucking riffs. Fucking going. <laughs> Stop that machine. So, it was a, a very exciting time. Um, Arise came out March 25th, 1991. It's the biggest uh, tour we ever did. There was 220 shows in 39 countries. Woo! Crazy shit. Amazing, amazing. And uh, so I'm going to play with the song again. I'll do it little by little. Uh, this one is a fast one, so we're going to stop in many sessions. And, uh, and then I'll talk a little bit more about the tour, especially New Titans on the Block, which was one of the most exciting tours we ever did. So there's be a lot to talk about. So let me get hydrated because this is going to be a riff fest. All right, homemade shit. That's better. All right, let's go. All right. Especially the mix of death metal and trash metal, which I think eventually that's what Arise symbolizes. So, you know, listen to and jamming alone with stuff like Sacrifice. <laughs> that's one of the 
Philippines, and then you know, uh, a little bit of uh, really, you know, uh, angel left. All those was like very, very influential for my for my writing. So I was thinking of the the coolest uh, riff that I can make for this opening track. I already had the name Arise was coming. Uh, again, from I think the lyrics a little bit uh, based on some just like being remain some of the YouTube uh, anti-war type stuff, and also uh, a COC T-shirt. My friend had it. Um, my friend Lucio had a T-shirt. COC said, "Tell me who has won when nothing remains." Uh, in the back, and I think I took that for the chorus. Um, you know, th there's there's. These together with Being of the Remains, they're very similar in topic, topical um, material. And also, of course, you 2 Under Blood Red Sky, I totally took that from you too, and I just turned into Under Pale Gray Sky, We Shall Arise. And that's totally from you 2 Under Blood Red Sky. Thank you, you 2 <coughs> um, Yeah, you know, so out of the gate. <laughs> This is a pre-chorus, I guess, but it, it's, it's catchy as fuck. When when I, when I play live, it's one of the things that the kids scream the most: is I see the world old, I see the world dead. Um, and then uh, behind the solo, this is. The <laughs> Is coming up, Igor's drum feel 
he was drawing on the song is fucking insane, man. He was like 19 years old. And to think that a 19 year old kid is doing this shit on the drums, it fucking blows my mind. Fucking amazing. So it's coming up. <laughs> mais foda do mundo, sempre que você ouvir, vamos, vamos lembrar desses riffs que fazeram parte da minha história, eu adoro muito que vocês estão assistindo esse canal, e, e, e para mim é um, um prazer mostrar esses riffs para vocês, e mostrar que veio mesmo do Max, do moleque do Brasil de 20 anos, que escreveu essa história na guitarra, mesmo que tenha outras, outras bandas aí fazendo essa porra com esse nome, com, continuando o nome, não é a mesma coisa, você sabe que a verdade está aqui, com a gente, da onde nasceu esse riff, tá ligado? Então vocês lembram disso. So, uh, we continue now talking a little bit about the, the tour. We got some new titans on the block. That was a glorious idea to make a tour. She was tired of the politics, of the, of all the, all the politics of the rock business, music business at the time. And only, only big bands get the big tours and all this shit. And so, like, make our own package. And made a, a package for the ages, man. This is, and he, you know, and using the name uh, New Titans of Block, it was, of course, because of of uh, uh, Titans, uh, 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 Clash of the Titans, of course, you know, and uh, making a fun joke, kind of punk rock fun joke out of it. They call it New Kids on the Block, and I think she even got sued, tried to get sued by both, by the the managers of uh, Clash of the Titans and by the new kids on the block. They both wanted a piece of the pie. She said, fuck you all. This is my tour. I do whatever I want with it. And the tour went on. It was the biggest success ever. And we got some 
some cool stuff that she found it for me today. I asked her, I was doing a rise, so I asked her for some cool stuff. The backstage pass of New Titans on the block. This is a stick on. Very, very cool. That design, actually, there's some jackets and stuff that she made. I don't know who's got the jackets. Next one is really cool. This is from Venezuela. New Titans, when we went to Venezuela, it was a fucking riot. Awesome show there. Fucking great. And the, the next ones are tickets. Yeah, love the tickets, man. Hell yeah, look at this. This is, this is cool shit. This is Danny's Record Presents, New Titans on the Block, Wilson Teeter, Fresno. I think, I think there's a riot there. Pretty sure there was a fucking riot at the show. You know, fucking Nazi skinheads and all that crazy shit. And then Elko Concerts, Sepultura, Sacred Rite, Napalm Death, Sick of It All. Tuesday, August 6th, 1991, two days after my birthday. City Limits, all ages. Fuck yeah, you had to be there. Part of history. Very cool. Thank you, Gloria, for finding those uh, gems that we'd like to share with you guys. Really, really cool gems. G uh, gems from the archives. And uh, yeah, like, like I said, 20, 200, 220 shows in 39 countries. We did the Rock in Rio. Before that, we did the SOS tour. That's how we started. We, with Southern Obituary, she put that one together too. She was good friends with um, uh, Obituary, we're good friends friends with the Sailors guys, so we put that, that tour together, uh, Debbie Abono and all, and then Rock and Rio too. Uh, we played Rock and Rio, it was insane, but I'm gonna leave those to, to another episode, talk about those. There was a free show in Sao Paulo, that a fan got murdered with an ax by a skinhead, and then, you then Indonesia, we went gold in Indonesia, there's a cassette, Somewhere, uh, we have it somewhere, I don't know. Uh, I'll find it for some other episode. And then we went to Russia on the Monsters of Rock on the Ruins of the Evil Empire. That was actually the fucking name of the tour, believe it or not. Insane. Um, I'll talk about that too in another, uh, when I do another song, you know. Maybe when I do Dan and Burn Excels, That's Why Cry. I'll talk about that. Because that's there's a lot of cool stories about that. Also, the video shoot we had a video shoot in the Death Valley that we we uh, told Roadrunner there was gonna be just a cool video shoot in the desert. Nothing to worry about it. Don't worry about it. No shenanigans. <laughs> and of course, there was shenanigans. Um, we went to Death Valley and uh, we had a bunch of, of, of extra guys uh, dressed up as Jesus with a gas mask. And the idea actually comes from Georgia, from Agnostic Front, tattoo he has in his chest. He, he has the same tattoo in his chest, and I thought we could to do a video with that imagery, and then the fire and all that. As, uh, the, the imagery right now is actually very COVID-19, if you think about it. If you watch that video, that video is right now. That shit's happening right now. It's insane. Um, and a little, uh, a little cool uh, detail I found out that Decibel Hall of Fame, there's three Sepultura albums there. Roots, Mini Germans, and Arise on the Decibel Hall of Fame. The only man with three bands, with three albums like that. So, thank you, Decibel. Very, very, very cool. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. It was cool. I'll do another pass through the song, and then we'll do some max picks. So, right now, let's just get this amp. I'm playing with a PV. Uh, 6505. I don't know if you guys can see it. You gotta come around. Yeah, come around. Show them. That's where this this madness is coming from. All right, so one more time. Clash, she's falling right. The 
those who will die. The three shall be guide. On the pathway sky we shall all rise. Think of so nothing. The Holy Competition. Waiting for a TD. What time does we are set? Pick. I got a uh, little jamming this a lot. Withered Dualitas. Very awesome underground, almost like black metal, black death trash. Uh, I met them on tour in Atlanta. They came to the show. They came. They came to the SoFi show. They gave me this album. I've been jamming this a lot. So if you guys don't have it, listen. Fucking killer, wither. It's great, man. Great, heavy, heavy shit. And uh, just for memory lane, Napalm Death. Just to go down memory lane a little bit. Times waits for no slave. Of course, always one of my favorite bands of all time, Napalm Death. Cannot go wrong with Napalm. Fucking killer shit. And uh, yeah, thank you so much, man. We enter August, as we say in Brazil, mês do cachorro louco, the month of the crazy dog. I'm Max Cavalera, the crazy dog. I love you all. Max Trex loves you. Next one is going to be on my birthday, Tuesday, April, uh, August 4, April, I'm fucking retired. August 4, Max Cavalera, Max Trex, I got a special track for you. And uh, happy birthday to Mark Rizzo. His birthday is tomorrow. Fucking... Big, big birthday, my brother, my ex fucking guitar brother, companion of a lifetime, Mark Rizzo, shredding, shredding Rizzo. And uh, that's it, that's it for Max Tracks. Let's play the outro. Hope you guys enjoy it. It was fun. Our eyes is fucking killer. Love it, fucking love it. And Max Tracks, love you guys, man. Keep listening. Let's make this thing bigger than life. Let's grow it together. I might even do a solo here, I don't give a shit.
fucking tracks! Dogs are sleeping at dollies. Big shout out to all of you. I love you motherfuckers, you know that. And I'll see you August 4 for another Max track. Stay healthy, stay metal, Max Cavalera, oi! <laughs>